This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. On the island of Ireland, there is a place called King's Island in Moiras. Yesterday, the Irish Times reported the guard was accompanied by armed police and also the army as they conducted one of the biggest operations against organised crime in Limerick in the centre of Ireland. It involves two of the largest rival gangs that are currently under investigation as part of the operation. More than 400 personnel were involved in Tuesday's operation with 65 properties and other locations searched during the coordinated raids that arrested 12 suspects for various offences. The searches were carried out under Operation Coronation which has targeted drug dealing and money laundering by rival gangs based in Limerick. The operation has been ongoing for several years and has sought to bring suspects before the courts on drugs and related charges as well as seizing assets including property luxury cars and confiscating cash, freezing bank accounts and firearms. The gangs targeted, they said in the Irish Times, were previously involved in a feud in Limerick and this began as early as 2003 and lasted for over a decade and cost at least 12 lives and most of them were shootings. Limerick was even given the nickname Stab City at one point due to the amount of knife crime that was occurring. Over 60 people were jailed in connection to the feud and both gangs continue to operate in the the local area to try to maintain control of the Limerick drug scene. The latest phase of the operation was carried out on Tuesday and was the biggest day of action to date under the operation and targeted the McCarthy Ryan Dundon group the rival criminal network, the King Kalopi group as well. And it was very similar to a day of action in 2020 where members of the King gang were targeted by more than 200 members of the Garda and the Defence Force. They say the raids against the McCarthy Dundon group on Tuesday were being led by Garda from the criminal division. They was also accompanied by the Criminal Assets Bureau, the CAB. You may remember them in relation to Jerry Hutch's case. They recovered over a million pound from Jerry Hutch. And they previously seized property in Dubai as part of this same operation today. And was on the ground in Limerick when the Garda and the army raided these addresses. The 65 searches were carried out at houses, apartments and other dwellings as well as businesses on the outskirts of the city. Aside from the 12 arrests, there were 7 men and 5 women. A number of assets and other items were seized. 6 accounts containing over 300,000 euros was frozen and 62,000 euros was found in money and confiscated by the Garda as well as 5 designer watches and 3 vehicles, a BMW, a Volkswagen and a Range Rover. The Garda took possession of eight horses and a horse box that was valued at £10,000. Financial documentation was also seized, which was said to be examined by the Criminal Assets Bureau to find any other cash and assets held by the suspects. They also seized cannabis that was valued at £8,000 and eight of the 12 people arrested being questioned over money laundering offences. So the police in Ireland are definitely trying to show a sign of force against the gangs as well. And for a historical recap on what this is about, I would reference the Guardian newspaper and an article from 2003 by Henry MacDonald. They said in the article that a third gang has set up business in the area and this has added to the confrontation between the two families. They said the Irish police believe the family of settled travellers with criminal connections stretching across the west of Ireland and into Britain set up the violent feud between Ryan and the Keane families. Detectives investigating the kidnapping of two brothers at the time, Kieran and Eddie Keane and the subsequent murder of Kieran Keane then believed that the third family manipulated the dispute to seize control of the drug trade in the city. The Garda think that the family who could not be named at the time for legal reasons staged the abduction of the Ryan brothers and the event that reignited the simmering feud between the Ryans and the Keens 10 days later. They are known to have links to the real IRA and the continuity IRA from whom they have acquired weapons that include AK-47s. The first time they said that ordinary criminals have gained control of assault rifles.
They also have links with English criminal fences where they sell stolen goods in the West Midlands, mainly valuable antiques that are stolen from houses and country estates in the west of Ireland. The Garda detective told the Observer at the time, the family is out of control, they are into absolutely everything, drugs, guns, antiques and the police believe that they're behind the kidnapping and murder of the two boys. The violent power struggle that centres on a small deprived corner of Limerick City, known as the Island. And it's surrounded on all sides by the River Shannon, and the island contains several sink estates that house 10,000 people, and among them are the Ryans and the Keens. Similar to most feuds, there was once friends, and now they are deadly enemies. The family's dispute began with a falling out in 1999 between two former criminal partners, Kieran Keane and Eddie Ryan Sr. The, the following year, Keane shot Ryan dead while he was drinking in the Moose pub in Cathedral Street. Keane had become paranoid about Ryan's new links with other criminals in the southwest of the country, and in particular, they said in the article at the time, the family currently behind the feud. There were skirmishes between the two families from November 2000, and mainly involved the younger members of the family, with innocent schoolgirls being attacked by several women, and held on the ground and had their face cut with a Stanley blade. The Garda said there was 40 violent incidents involving both families since Eddie Ryan Sr.'s murder, but the trouble flared up 10 days after the kidnapping of the two brothers. Kieran Keane and his nephew Owen Treacy were abducted from the Gary Owen district and Keane was shot dead and Treacy was repeatedly stabbed 17 times by his attackers, but survived. So that is just a small glimpse on the generational warfare that has taken place in a city that would not make the mainstream media newspapers in the UK. And to understand the way they operate and what they want is very important. So I really appreciate you joining me for this brief update and I'll be back again very shortly. Thank you to the subscriber that sent that story and don't forget you can always send stories via the website directly to myself at news at scarcitystudios.com and don't forget to follow me online as well at Scarcity Studios on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and also TikTok as well and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.